Although previously considered an unlikely candidate for the presidency, the 74-year-old former president served only one term before leaving office, yet he still holds considerable influence within the Republican Party. During the 2016 election, doubts about his suitability for the role were fueled not only by his contentious views on immigration and unconventional campaign tactics, but also by his background as a celebrity. Nevertheless, the businessman ultimately proved his critics wrong by defying expectations and triumphing over more experienced politicians in the Republican primary. He then went on to win the presidency in a fiercely divisive and controversial contest against his Democratic opponent, Hillary Clinton. Despite coming from a wealthy family, Mr. Trump was not handed an easy path to success. As the fourth child of New York real estate mogul Fred Trump, he was expected to work menial jobs in his father's company, and was even sent to a military academy at the age of 13 due to misbehavior in school. After studying at the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania, Mr. Trump was poised to take over his father's business empire when his older brother, Fred, chose a different path and became a pilot. Tragically, Fred passed away at the young age of 43 due to alcoholism, which had a profound impact on Mr. Trump and led him to abstain from alcohol and cigarettes for the rest of his life. Donald Trump started out by managing his father's vast portfolio of residential housing projects in the New York City boroughs, and eventually took over the company, which he renamed the Trump Organization, in 1971. He claims to have received a small $1 million loan from his father to get started in the real estate industry. Despite the loss of his father in 1999, Mr. Trump remains inspired by his legacy and the lessons he learned from him. Mr. Trump's business endeavors took him from his family's residential properties in Brooklyn and Queens to Manhattan's most prestigious projects. He transformed the ailing Commodore Hotel into the luxurious Grand Hyatt and erected his most iconic property, the 68-story Trump Tower on Fifth Avenue. He continued to build a brand around his name, with other properties such as Trump Place, Trump World Tower, and Trump International Hotel and Tower, as well as ventures in Mumbai, Istanbul, and the Philippines. In addition to his real estate ventures, Mr. Trump ventured into the hotel and casino industry, which led to four business bankruptcies, not personal bankruptcy. He also found success in the entertainment business, owning beauty pageants such as Miss Universe, Miss USA, and Miss Teen USA from 1996 until 2015. In 2003, he launched the reality TV show The Apprentice, in which contestants competed for a management position within his organization. The show ran for 14 seasons, and Mr. Trump reported earning a total of $213 million from the network during its run. Beyond these ventures, Mr. Trump is also an author and owns a merchandise line that sells a range of products, from neck teas to bottled water. According to Forbes, his net worth is estimated at $2.5 billion. However, in September, the New York Times reported that Mr. Trump paid only $750 in federal income tax in both 2016 and his first year in the White House, despite his supposed wealth. Mr. Trump dismissed the report as fake news. Mr. Trump has been married three times, with his first wife, Ivana Zelnikova, a Czech athlete and model, being the most well-known. The couple had three children together, Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric, before their divorce in 1990, which led to a high-profile court battle and tabloid scandal. There were allegations of abuse towards Ivana, though she later downplayed the incidents. He then married actress Marlo Maples in 1993, and they had a daughter named Tiffany before divorcing in 1999. In 2005, he married his current wife, Slovenian model Melania Knaus, with whom he has one son, Baron William Trump. His children from his first marriage are now involved in running the Trump Organization, though Mr. Trump remains the chief executive. 
Ivanka, his eldest daughter, accompanied him to the White House, where she and her husband, Jared Kushner, served as senior advisors. As early as 1987, Mr. Trump had expressed interest in running for president and even participated in the 2000 race as a Reform Party candidate. However, it wasn't until June 2015 that he officially announced his candidacy for the White House. He ran a controversial campaign under the slogan Make America Great Again, promising to strengthen the economy, build a wall on the Mexican-U.S. border, and temporarily ban Muslim immigration. Despite facing protests and opposition from his Republican rivals, Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio, he won the Indiana primary and became the presumptive Republican nominee for president. In the past, Mr. Trump had also been a prominent figure in the birther movement, which falsely claimed that Barack Obama was not born in the U.S. Mr. Trump's bid for the presidency in 2016 was marred by a string of controversies, including a leaked 2005 recording of him making inappropriate comments about women and allegations from members of his own party about his fitness for office. Despite trailing in most opinion polls to Hillary Clinton, Mr. Trump rallied his supporters with promises to defy the establishment and drain the swamp in Washington. He drew inspiration from the successful Brexit campaign and vowed to surpass it by Brexit times 10. As polling day approached, few pundits believed that he could win, but he received a late boost from fresh controversy over an FBI investigation into his opponent's emails. In a stunning upset, Donald Trump emerged victorious, becoming the first U.S. president to have never held elected office or served in the military. He made history when he was sworn in as America's 45th president on January 20, 2017. Two days after the election, he met with outgoing President Obama in the Oval Office for transition talks. Donald Trump's presidency was defined by controversy and tumult, much like his campaign. He made waves early on with his executive order banning travel from several predominantly Muslim countries, a move criticized as xenophobic by many. He then fired FBI Director James Comey, prompting concerns of obstruction of justice during the subsequent investigation into Russian collusion. Mr. Trump faced impeachment by the House of Representatives in late 2019, accused of pressuring a foreign government to investigate his political rival, Joe Biden. Although he was acquitted by the Senate, it marked the third time in history that a U.S. president had been impeached. Despite the criticisms, Mr. Trump continued to enjoy a loyal base, due in part to his success in fulfilling campaign promises, such as nominating three conservative Supreme Court justices. However, his handling of the COVID-19 pandemic drew sharp criticism, and he was diagnosed with the disease himself in October 2020. In the 2020 election, Donald Trump lost to Joe Biden, but he refused to concede and made unfounded allegations of electoral fraud. This culminated in the storming of the U.S. Capitol by a mob of his supporters on January 6, 2021, an event for which he was impeached for a second time. Although he was acquitted by the Senate, Trump's legacy and influence over the Republican Party remain controversial and uncertain, with some politicians distancing themselves from him. These are likely to be defining aspects of his post-presidential legacy.